I used to play that. I used to play that 16. Huh? I used to play that 16. 15? Not that bad, really. But it's, no, but the thing is, you gotta lower down your stat. Yeah, like your team game is Yeah. Welcome to the final week of NJCAAE competition through the video game Valorant. We're here live at the gaming arena. I'm joined by my co-caster again tonight, Mr. Bradley Jameson, a.k.a. Parzival, a.k.a. The Man Cake. He's going to join us tonight. We're in our final week of competition. It's hard to believe this fall has flown by here with NJCAA competition. We're getting ready for the video game Valorant. We're getting everything set and ready to go. Before we get going, once again, want to thank our sponsors. This is our last week of the regular season. Still may have some postseason matchups, but we want to give a big shout out to Red Fox Gaming and Hickory on Catawba Valley Boulevard. They have old and new video games. They have everything for the holiday season. Make sure you go check them out. They've got pop culture. They've got uh, a assortment of, of imported foods. They've got all sorts of really crazy, amazing things. So be sure to go check them out. Uh, tell them CVCC Esports sent you, and tell them thank, thank you so much for supporting student athletes here in the Catawba Valley area. Also, shout out to Corporate Armor at Semprano Tech Vesters Company. We appreciate Luke Walling and his group sponsoring our esports team here at CVCC. They just had their largest third quarter in company history. They're successful. They're helping us be successful. So thank you so much to Corporate Armor. We're going to get right into the action here as I set up the actual correct screen as we're getting set up for Valorant. Again, thank you so much for joining us tonight. If you're in stream, say hello. We are on a three minute stream delay as required by the NJCAAE. So we're getting ready and get set. Sure now. I don't think I need to go to coach roll. My bad. So get down to coach roll. If you're in chat, say hello. If you haven't followed us, make sure you follow us. Our stream continues to grow. We've we've more than doubled what we had in the spring. It's been really, really awesome. If you can subscribe to us, it is five dollars. You're gonna hear a very cool Rania uh, sound. Um, you're going to want to hear that played. If you follow us, you're going to hear it as well. So make sure you get in, follow us, subscribe to us if you can. All the money goes to student athlete scholarship. So, Brad, final week of the regular season. It's hard to believe feels like it's flown by. What's your uh, what's been your thoughts for this uh, this fall? Uh, the fall's been great, honestly. Uh, you know, classes were good for me. Uh, started a new degree. It's been great. Um, Having a lot of new faces in the esports arena has been amazing. I love meeting new people and playing with new people. Um, but it, it felt like what, uh, the first like match of the season was like two weeks ago. It just it has flown by. Um, a little bit sad that it's ending, but that brings to off season. We got some stuff planned. It's gonna be great. Um, off season, you can always improve. 
So we're going to improve, and then we'll be back even stronger next season. Absolutely. Well, and we've got a lot of things coming up. We're not going to announce anything yet. We've got some things we're teasing for our program that are going to be coming in hopefully in the next couple of weeks, and also a big announcement on the horizon for the spring. So you're going to want to be uh, tuning into that. So we're getting the picks and bands in as we speak. Uh, it looks like the Red Hawks have banned Breeze, and the uh, Western Technical College is who we're playing tonight. They have banned Haven. I love his uh, profile picture. Yeah, I, I, I never noticed our captain, Jesus, uh, his, his name is Crest. You'll see him, actually you see him right over here. I'm trying to point to it. Yeah. You see him up there. He's, uh, so first map, map is Icebox for CVCC. If you haven't watched Valorant before, this is how Valorant goes. You're trying to win 13 rounds of a game. If you win those 13 rounds, you're going to win the game. You see Donovan here behind me sneaking up into the picture, <laughs> our NBA 2K player. You're going to want to join us tomorrow for 2K as well. But um, basically, you're trying to win best two out of three games, and the first team to 13 wins. So that's that's what you're trying to do tonight. Each player will pick their own agent or character, and uh, they will um, decide – you know that pretty much the teams I think have an idea who they want to play as each character has their own separate set of abilities we'll try to get into that if we can but uh, yeah thanks everybody for hopping in uh, Peachy Vici thank you so much uh, Rez thanks for hopping in chat yes yeah, so let's go CBCC let's go Red Hawks try and figure out finish the regular season strong tonight so and really excited for some action here with NJCAE with Valorant. Tomorrow, join us. Be sure for uh, NBA 2K. We'll have Devante uh, on the um, – Devante will be streaming. He has a chance to qualify for playoffs, which is really, really exciting. He's had a really great season, so we're rooting for him. It'll be really awesome. So be sure to tune in tomorrow for that one here, uh, same clock, 7 o'clock. Oh, hey. uh, Cam Champion, yeah. thanks for hopping in. Uh, first time viewer, make sure you hit that follow button. Yeah, yeah. Part of the Breakfast Club is representing. Yeah, if you hit that follow button, you're going to hear a really cool sound effect. So, Breakfast Club is infiltrating here. Yeah. I'm going to try to. So, as we've been talking, first map is bind. Uh, Red Hawks will be on the attack to start that. The second map is going to be Ascent. And the Red Hawks will attack as well. And then finally, we'll have Bind. And the Red Hawks will attack. So thanks for the follow, Peachy V. Our new subscriber. Thanks, Peachy Vici. Uh, well, that's gifted from Rez. Thanks for uh, thanks for subbing to the channel. Appreciate Rez for the uh, subscription. Uh, thank you, Moon's father, for joining us. Uh, thank you. I love you. love only. I think is how we said your name. You say your name. So. <laughs> so yeah, I'm switching on sides. I was actually on the uh, the team side. So you see the uh, the team we're playing, Western Technical College. Um, they're in, they are the Cavaliers. Best of luck to Western Technical tonight. So thanks again, everybody who's hopping in and supporting us. Thanks for everybody who's supported us this season. It's been a tremendous fall. As a coach, I think this is the most, some of the most joy I've had uh, coaching a, a group of uh, student athletes. So it's been, it's been fantastic. So here we go. Thank you. I love Oli for the subscription. Another one. Pars Parzival. Bradley over here gifting subs as we're on stream. So here we go to the character selection. I'm going to try to take my camera down so you can see this. 
that the kid used the mouse to hold. Okay, it was not, not the game catcher. So here's the game, the character selection. You have Crass, that is Jesus. Looks like he's going with the Viper. Red King, that is Eric. He's playing Reyna. Uh, Ranga is uh, Cody. He's playing Killjoy. Moon Solstice is Sage. Uh, that is Addison. And then Non Prodigy is Sova. That is Hector. So you're going to want to follow them. You're going to want to know who they are before we get going. As you see, here are the players to watch out for for the other team. We'll take you kind of through the action as things go. As we said, this is Icebox Red Hawks on the attack to start here. Game number one, best of 13. Red Hawks trying to bring home a victory tonight. Of course, Catawba Valley was in group number four. They are currently in fourth place. The Western Technical College is in eighth place. That doesn't mean anything, though. Anything can happen any given night to any team. So we'll see what happens here as Catawba Valley gets to start on Icebox. If you haven't followed us on Twitter, there's a Twitter link as well in stream. So here we go. Map number one. We'll follow you with Hector. Red Hawks going up the mid, looks like. Crass going to get the early elimination, so first blood going to CBCC. Allies are planning Red Hawks, it's five on four. They've got the early advantage. NRG Storm going to take out Red King. Sam going to take out Moon Solstice. Conspire going to take out Ranga. It's a two on two now. Sam falls to non prodigy and it's down to Jesus and Hector here in game number one. Crass with another elimination. So we're going to put that dart out, which reveals the area. Shark dart going out. Nice elimination, and so Crass going to get four kills wow. to start game number one as he is feeling it. He was doing jumping jacks in here earlier, a little bit of nerves. Yeah, jumping jacks and burpees. Yeah, jumping jacks and burpees. I don't think I've done a burpee in my entire life, and I saw more tonight than I've done in my entire 35 years of life. So here we go. Red Hawks take round number one. Early yet, though. You're trying to win 13 of these, so... And I will tell you, after 12 rounds, the team switch. So each, each team is going to get a chance to attack. You're trying to plant a bomb, or a spike as they call it. And then you'll also get a chance to defend that and either defuse or eliminate the enemy team. So not just about eliminations, it's about a lot of things. So we'll take you to the kill leader, Crest. Jesus, he is doing well here tonight already. Watching that flank well. Three, two, one. As Eric's going to draw first blood, Red Hawk's putting up that wall. Looks like a few players there in mid. Red, Eric, another elimination for Eric. As it's five on three. Sam's getting elimination. Crass with elimination. And so now it's four on one. As non prodigy going to get the elimination. So, Red Hawks doing very good work there early on. 2 nothing here early in game number one on Icebox. Of course, there's, I believe, seven maps now. Uh, Fracture is not played, it's the newest map uh, on Valorant. But all the other maps are played. Red, uh, teams have a chance to pick and ban. And basically, whatever is left is left uh, at the end for the third map. So we're going to have Icebox and Ascent for sure. If the teams go to a, a third game, it's going to be the bind map. So, Brad, any early thoughts here on what you're watching? Um, it's just every single week. I know I said this last week, too. Uh, their teamwork and their uh, – well, I guess just really their teamwork and the way that they play, it always improves. So it always blows me away how much they can improve in that week. Like, we are looking phenomenal right now, uh, just like in play style between uh, 
especially this week in the first week, like you can tell that they're really meshing and it seems like they are really bonding well together. Two eliminations for Crass. You see it there, it takes out two, so it's a four on two. It's down to the Viper and the Sage. Of course, Sage is a healing character. You see her there on the left and Viper's gonna go down. It's down to that healing character. It's four on one for CVCC here in early in game number one. As Eric gonna get a three piece, give him a side of fries. <laughs> and that's become our trademark. But 3-0 lead for CVCC here early in game number one. Of course, you were here with me what, last week, I believe. Um, it, it was a tough couple weeks for our team. We, we learned a lot about ourselves. A very talented Madison and a very talented Bismarck team. We played in back to back weeks. They're at the top of our leaderboard. Actually, they're playing tonight. Best of luck to both those teams. That's going to be a match and a half. During break, we'll have to look them up and see what the score is. Yeah, they were in chat last week rooting, yeah. uh, or the Madison team was for us to win yeah. uh, so that they could get ahead of Bismarck. But here we go. Round number four. Like I said, you're trying to win 13 of these. Mm -hmm. You win 13 in a row, that's great, but it's very rare that you do that um, unless the team is just absolutely overmatched. But wall going up, plants going down. Pick there for Crast. Pick for Red King. It's a three on a five on three. Crast going to go out again. It's a four on two now. Red King with elimination. At Sova, you see the movement by Crass. I love that little shimmy, shimmy. Sam going to get another elimination, so it's two on two. Sam's going to finally go down. It's a two on one. And they know where he is. And the elimination there from Cody, that is Ranga. So here we go. Four nothing, Catawba Valley. Off to a good start. Got to keep the momentum going here. Thanks, Reds, for the uh, coach emote. Yeah. If you subscribe to our channel, too, that's the cool thing. We have new emotes, and actually, we just found out we're going to get five of them, so we're going to have even more emotes if you subscribe to us. Going to have a straight Valorant one, maybe a straight Smash one. We don't know. Yeah, we don't. We've got some plans. We'll see. We'll kind of see what happens. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. So here we go. Round number five here of, well, we hope it's 13 in a row, but... Uh, this Western Technical team, they're very good. We watched them on film this week, so we know how they operate. As the ultimate ability going to come out there for the uh, Western Technical, that is the Hunter's Fury from Sova, and non project going to get the first elimination. Sam's going to fall down. Shout out to my wife, Sam. It's kind of interesting that we're playing a team with uh, my wife's name, but we'll see. Uh, Red King, uh, two eliminations for Eric. Three, three eliminations, three pieces of side of fries. Can he get four and a milkshake? We'll see if it can happen. A toxic screen going up for Crass. He's playing Viper. If, all of the and oh, Eric with Eric a four, four. four eliminations. Yes. As we'll take an early look at the scoreboard, and I figured it was going to happen. Yeah. Eric at the top at twelve and three, Crass at eight and one, and five and zero oh for non prodigy Cody, Cody uh, in fourth right now, oh one and three, but he shown he can do well. And obviously, uh, Moon is our anchor, has been our anchor for this team all season. So five nothing CVCC. We'll see if we can keep this a rolling here tonight. That's the buy phase is over. Of course, the buy phase, you're buying your abilities, you're buying your guns, and the more you win, the more money you're going to be able to get to buy those abilities and weapons. So, middle is walled off as expected. Ghost Whisper going to take down Crass. Eric with an elimination, and he's going to fall to Conspiry. Another snipe for Conspiry. Another elimination. Is that Reyna? Of course, the Reyna sucks health of the opponent, of the players. And he's going to get a thrifty victory. Conspiry with a bunch of snipes there to close that. So Western Technical going to get on the board there. That Reyna doing very well. You see for them, six and five right now, he's at the top along with Sam. 
And CBCC still in strong spot, three, eight, and six. Although it's interesting, our third and fourth players have no eliminations, but or our fourth and fifth players. But that can change quickly. Moon shown he can do it. Obviously, Cody's shown he can do it. So round number seven of the attack side for CVCC. Yeah, that recon bolt going out. Of course, that that kind of shows your your hand a little bit because it will spot you if you're an enemy person. Consprey going to take out Eric. Yes, and that Reina. See, Reina has an as an overheal power. If they get an elimination, it gives them an extra fifty uh, health that they can use. It's a four on five now. Smoke's going to go out there for Brimstone on the opponent's side. Red Hawk's kind of playing this slow and a little split. The res is going to come and we're going to have an even, an even matchup. That recon bolt, though, did spot a few of our Red Hawks. Cody with back-to-back -back eliminations. I missed it. Oh my goodness, I wish I hadn't missed that. Holy cow. So it goes from a five on four disadvantage to a five on three advantage. Allies planning again. Swarm grenade goes down, plant goes down. Eric's gonna eliminate Sam, so it's now five on two. As you can see, the Red Hawks moving very, very fluidly. They're all kind of together, but they're, they're all got angles. That's all, all this game is about is angles. Red Hawks just shooting into that toxic screen. They know that they're back there somewhere, they think. Watching flanks, watching mids, watching spawns. Non prod you're going to eliminate Consprey, oh, and nice. Cody's going to get his three piece for the side of fries, take him through the drive through, give him a cookie as well. Red Hawks up six to one. I apologize, your coach is a little nutty, but I love doing it. I love casting Valorant every week. Um, it's been a, a true blast this team has. Red Hawks up six to one. They're almost halfway to the goal. They're here for game number one. So any more early thoughts, Bradley? And we get in here quickly and by phases counting down. They're doing great. Yeah, that's all I gotta say. <laughs> Short words, but what can you really say? They're playing well. Now we're going back to the action. Back to action. Recon Bolt goes out there for Sova. It was destroyed immediately, so no information there for CVCC. Headshot. What a headshot there from Hector. Nice. Grass going to eliminate Sam. They're watching the flanks, watching the Killjoy goes down for Cody. <laughs> Plant goes down for CVCC. Eric going to eliminate... Majek for Western Technical. Consprey is going to fall down to Eric again, another eliminate, and right dead in the middle of the map. This is going to be a rush to see who, who can eliminate. Crass going to get elimination and a flawless round for CVCC. What can you say? Almost flawless so far this game, except for that one round drop. To a really good player, I want to give a kudos to Consprey from Western Technical. Very good, Reina. Um, as we said, we did some scouting, watched them. Uh, very good player. And, uh, definitely the, the tip of the Western Technical iceberg. They're, they're doing extremely well. So we're going to get here ready for round number nine, CBCC up. 7-1. Eric says, I want some more blood. Yeah. The recon bolt works fine there. In the middle, they spot one player. Is Eric going to move around to A? He's going to get an elimination as that Reina goes down. Going to have... As Sam going to get two eliminations for Western Technical, but finally Hector going to clear him out, and it's three on three now. Spike is in Hector's possession, which is unusual. Hellfire coming down there for Brimstone, but Brimstone going to fall to Crast. Nice kill there from Cody, and another elimination from Crast on Ghost Whisperer. So eight to one Catawba Valley here, game number one. We'll take a look at the scoreboard real quick. Eric. Carrying it as always, and Crass 
Rasta twelve and two, Prodigy at nine and two, and Cody. We talked about him early. He's he's picking up the slack. Of course, Moon carrying that spike. He's been the anchor. He's been our planner. Um, call him the farmer because he's planted a lot. Um, so here we go for round number ten. CVCC up eight one. They need five more rounds to get this first game. Night will be far from over though. You got to win two out of three of these. Looks like. Hector is gonna go for the cross map for this nice cross cross map era. See what he gets. Oh, he got that wall goes yeah. up for Viper on the opposing side. Our wall is up. The other Viper wall. Look at this, like almost simultaneous Viper walls here. A toxic screen goes up. Viper using all of its ability. Moon going to get his first elimination of the day. Great job by him. Red Hawks. I think Red Hawks are rotating. Eric going to get an elimination or get eliminated. Jesus, a.k.a. Crass, going to get a pick as well. So Red Hawks still got the advantage. It's four and three. They're going to have to watch that mid. Consprey is going to pick off non-prodigy. Crass going to pick off Storm. It's still even again. Crass, well, no, it's not anymore. It's three on two. But really the two best players, I would say, for Western Technical, Sam and Consprey, are awaiting. So we'll see if CVCC can hold it on. Toxic screen goes up again. Perfect play here for CVCC. They're watching the front. Ranga going to pick off Sam, so that's three on one. It's crashing that Viper wall. Of course, he can stay in there because that's Viper's ability. This bomb going to tick down, tick down, tick down. Consprey out there somewhere. You slowed me. And we have a malfunction at the junction. I have a little bit of a, a teammate. And Cody going to shoot him wow. through the smoke. Holy cow. Wow. Yeah. How did he even know? <laughs> You're crass say, I like that. I like that. So that's that's great. Awesome job. So 9-1 CVCC leading here on the attack side. We're getting close to the swap, the Red Ops are going defense. Now, I recently had the chance today to be able to play some rounds of Valor, or some matches of Valor, and I will say it is a whole lot different watching it than it is playing it. There's so many different things you got to keep an eye out for, and uh, I just commend these players because they they literally have to focus on like 20 different things at once, and then also communicating with each other to let everybody else know about their 20 different things. It's a whole mess. You, you're just not thrown into these games and do well. You have to work hard. This group has done that all season long. And they face some challenges of team. They continue to face challenges, but they meet them head on. That yes. Hunter's Fury goes down again. Red King going to pick off Sam, so first blood again. Another Ghost Whisperer goes down. We'll follow the kill leader here, Eric. He probably wants another one. He's just tasting it. He's feeling it. Oh, and I'm shot there as it looked like that player was entering the A side of the spawn. Consprey with elimination, Magic with elimination. Consprey going to fall down to Hector. And now it's down to that NRG storm for the Brimstone. And Cody going to finish him off. Red Hawks up 10 to 1. 10 to 1. Wow. As my caster in crime. Drinks from his Jersey Mike's cup. We had some Jersey Mike's. It was wonderful tonight. That was my first time having Jersey Mike's. That was pretty good. Very good, yeah. So Very Jersey Mike's, you want to you support CBCC Esports? You're welcome. Yes, please do. Last round before the swap. Again, the by phase CBCC on it. Uh, they're going to um, purchase their weapons and abilities, but after this, nobody will have any money left. So it'll switch to the defense yep. side, and CBCC is going to stop, try to stop the plant. Yep. Another first pick for Eric. I'm just going to follow this man. He is, <laughs> he's been a machine tonight. She's a miss. She's a miss. 
But now you also got to realize that it's not always just about kills uh, like the team preaches. Uh, trade out there, Kraft's going to fall to Consfree, but Red King going to fall to, or going to eliminate Consfree. So it's four on two. And a revive. So it's back to full strength for CVCC. Five on two. So here we go, that firebolt going out, trying to see if there's anybody at mid. Oh, a couple eliminations there for... Oh, we got a res too. And a res, yeah, Hunter's Fury going out for non-prodigy. As the bomb is gonna explode. And of course, Red Hawks, can, they can take the, the death because it doesn't matter. So CBCC takes round 12. Awesome. Wow. And they're up 11 to 1. Two more. All they got to do is win two rounds on the defense. It's been impressive tonight. Yeah. Let's take a look at the scoreboard. 21 wow. for Eric. He wants a 30 bomb. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if he's going to get it. He would have to literally get nine more kills, which, I mean, he'd have to – yeah. Single-handedly kill the enemy team and do it again. But Crass too. Crass has played a very methodical, good game as as team captain, fifteen and four, and then non-prodigy uh, Hector eleven and, and three, Cody at eight and two. And as we said, Moon all these plants, but he he got he's gotten a couple of eliminations. Very proud of Moon, our anchor for this team. Every boat needs an anchor, so it doesn't swim away. And that is what Moon has been. So here we go, round thirteen. Recon Bolt destroyed there. Moon is going to fall to Consfree and get some, get some, uh, some stuff there. It looks like the mid is what where this Western Technical Group is going to push up through. The flash goes out. Looks like CVCC altogether. Majek going to eliminate Crast. Cons free fall. Red King gonna eliminate Energy Storm. Got two of them. And two, three. Oh, this man, this man must have heard me say something about thirty kills. It's a two on two. He's trying to make it reality. And he goes four pieces. Wow. Give him a side of fries and a piece of toast. My goodness, Eric. Red King, oh. he is red hot right now. Oh my goodness. Wow. Match point for CVCC. They're trying to take the first match here tonight and go up one to nothing. What a show it has been. Do you have a sniper? I would call it the Red King Show, Rojo, Ray Rojo Show. He's going for the snipes. He is going. Yeah, I think he's, he's sensing that 30 by. Oh, my goodness. Recon Bolt goes out. Uh, he's not going to get it. He's going to get a little greedy. Hector going to get elimination, though, so it's back to even. Consbury going to eliminate Moon. Crass going to eliminate Consbury. Back to even again. But you see him kind of ticking there. A toxin going out there. Elimination for Crass. Sam going to take out Cody. Two on two now. Non Prodigy going to take out NRG. Can he clinch it? Can he do it? He's got to get the defuse. Can he get the defuse? Is it going to come it? off? Can he get it? Is CBCC going to take its first victory of the night? And they are going to do it. Crass with the, with the defuse. CBCC wins 13 to 1 on Icebox. And that is how you start it here tonight. The top of that. Almond milks. Yaz, thanks for the. Fa or for the uh, Hopping in, Hector. Uh, let's go, Hector. Absolutely. Almond milk. Make sure you follow us. Uh, we'll be right back. We're gonna take a quick break here in between rounds, but we'll, we'll get reset and get get ready to go for map number two, which will be ascent. Red Hawks will be on attack again. We'll be back here on CVCC Esports.
We are back here on CVCC Esports, taking it into our second game of the night. We are on Ascent. So we'll take Coach off of the screen for just a second. So you can see who the players are picking. Crass going to go with Astra in this game. Red King going uh, Rainia again. Ranga is going to go Killjoy. Uh, Moon going to go Sage. And looks like Non Project going with the Soviet. So basically the same setup. Crass uh, rotating off of his Viper to an Astra. So we'll see. Thanks again for everybody that's hopped in, hopped in on stream. If you haven't followed us already, please do so. You'll, you'll hear a cool sound that we've got, uh, stream alerts that we've got set up. So you'll want to hear that as well. But thank you so much. We've got a couple of subs tonight. Rez, you're at the top of the get sub gifter goal. Uh, Parzival is right beside me, right not, not too far back. So I have the camera so hot on, they can't see me. Yeah, we're, we're, we're going to leave it off for just a second. So. I would have the camera, they couldn't see me. But we're map number two. This is going to be Ascent Red Hawks on the attack again here tonight. So here we go. You see the setup again. Looks like Rania again for Consfree, Cypher for Majek, uh, Sam going with the Phoenix. I thought you were talking about the enemy team. I was like, oh, go touch some grass. NRG going with Brimstone, Ghost Whisperer going with Astra, and Cypher to. Majek. So let's get our uh, cam camera back on here to get ready and set so we can do some casting. Thanks again to everybody who supported our stream tonight. This has been fun. Hopefully we'll finish it out with a victory here, a sixth victory for CVCC Esports tonight. If you're in chat, say hello. Tell us how your day was. Tell us what you love about our Red Hawks. Tell us who you're rooting for. Who are you here supporting other than just Red Hawks in general? We'd love to hear from you. Hey, We're on a stream delay, so you'll probably be a little bit behind us on some stuff. Here we go. By phase, Red Hawks on attack again here on Ascent. As Consfree going to eliminate Moon to, for the first elimination, Eric going to go back to his ways of eliminating both of those walls up there for Astra. Wall's going to go down. Consfree going to fall. Take down Red King. So it's four on three. Majek going to get elimination. Sam going to get elimination. And Sam going to get two eliminations. So CVCC falling here on the first round of game number two. Can't get too confident, too cocky. Got to finish out strong, though. Much different map. Icebox has traditionally been a very good map for CVCC, our team. And so we'll see. And we've also actually, I feel like, have been a better defensive team, but we'll see what happens here. Game, round number two, game number two. Sova Dark going way up there. I was playing the other day, I shot one off of a corner. It went straight up in the air. All our players kind of laughed. <laughs> Elimination, Cody going to take out Sam. Red King going to fall. Eric having a tough start to his first, his uh, second game. But it's a four on four now. Brimstone going to fall, so now four on three. Consper going to take out Crast. Most Wisp. Ghost Whisper of the Elimination, and it's down to Hector. And he's going to lose all of his three on one there. Tough plays as Western Technical going to take an early two round lead here on the attack. So can't get too cocky. I'm sure Red Hawk's coming off a little bit of a high. It's been a tough couple of weeks playing uh, Bismarck and Madison, two really good perennial teams. We're actually kind of watching them now. Looks like Madison may be winning. 
on. Uh, so they might be losing this round there. Yeah, I think they're up five nothing right now in Bismarck. They're in our group. Two really great teams. Best select to them. I know both of them are postseason qualified. Sam going to take out Eric again as another first pick there for CVCC. That drone going out. Red Hawks trying to watch. As Conspreys back in the uh, corner there hiding. I'm probably going to take out an energy storm. It's a three on four. Moon with a nice elimination. Non prodigy can take out Ghost Whisper. Healing going up there for Moon. Good play there. Maycheck going to get elimination. He was on the corner there. And Consfree going to take out Non Prodigy. So it was a three on two. Red Hawks had the advantage, but they're going to fall uh, here early. They're down three nothing here on Ascent. Already three times as amount of round losses that they had the first game. So three nothing CBCC down here early. First time they've trailed all night. Angelic Scar, this is uh, match number two. Red Hawks won the first one 13 to one on Icebox. Nice arrow there from Hector on the Sova dart. As it's all quiet on the Western front, you can hear a pin drop right now on the map. No, no gunfights, nothing. I was trying to figure out exactly what's happening here. I'm sure the same thing goes for Bismarck, all that, or uh, not Bismarck, excuse me, Western Technical. They're probably holding every angle that they can. It's what you do on defense. You've really got the advantage. Looks like Hector going to send out this drone. Watch out, they got snipers in there. Red and Astro. Ghost Whisper going to take down Red King. Rango with elimination. Hector with an elimination. Locks going to go down. Plants finally going to go down. First one for the match. CBCC healing going there. Nice heal for Moon. Wait. Wall's going to go up there for Catawba Valley. Sam going to eliminate Crass and Ranga. Hector going to get elimination. It's down to Moon. And, excuse me, down to Hector. And Hector going to get eliminated. It's a two on one. So, Western Technical takes round number four here, or game number four of round, round, yeah, round number four of game number two, match number two. So it looks like the player's talking a little bit about the halo that's coming out for Generation Esports. Uh, it's a 4 nothing for Western Technical early here in match number two. Top Valley going to have to work its way back. Recon Bolt destroyed there. Major going to take out Eric Red King. Up top from heaven, non project going to take out two players. One's in, one's in tree, one's in tree, one's in tree. Action fast and furious. Recon bolt going out there, or shock bolt, excuse me. Spike got planted. And it's down to Crast. It's a one on two. Yeah, it's Crast getting a clutch against probably the best player for this Western technical team. We'll take a look at the scoreboard. It's probably not going to be pretty for CBCC. Non prodigy Hector going off. As you've got Cody up top. Uh, 
Eric at the bottom of the scoreboard after having that huge early game. You see Sam and Consbury, they've been the two lead dogs, I believe, for Western Technical this season. So, and it looks like three ultimates ready for both teams as well. So, we'll keep on Crest. He's, well, actually, I take it back. Let's go to the score leader. That is his Hector non prodigy. Ooh, third of the bars. Nice recon bolt. It is destroyed right off the bat. Western Technical not going to allow that to happen. One flight, one flight, one flight, one flight. Red Hawks can't peek. They can't get greedy. They're watching the flank. They're going to rotate around, I believe, is what's going to happen. Eric going to get that first elimination. Conspree goes down. That's a big elimination. Anytime you can take out essentially one of the team leaders, it puts that other team in a disadvantage. Rotation going around. Non-Prodigy Hector with another key elimination. That bolt going out, it gets stuck to Moon Solstice. Door goes down there. As Red Hawks have a five on three, they've got to play this smart. Majek going to get elimination. Sam gets back to even. And all of a sudden, oh my goodness. It was a heavy CBCC advantage, and it went away really, really quickly as Sam and Majek for this Western Technical team take round number six. Holy cow. Great place from Western Technical. So round number seven, Catawba Valley here down 5-1. Yeah. It looks so, like Madison is up 9 and 2 over Bismarck right now. Yeah, Madison having a, their 12th match. a good start, yeah, for their match. So we were kind of curious to see how that, that match was going to go. We're, we're more worried about this match, though. Catawba Valley down 1 to 5 here. Great spike. Yeah, Recon Bolt goes out. Not Spike, yeah, Recon Bolt. Rock's going through the mid now. We'll see if they can pick anybody off watching all the angles. I think they're going to try this mid to kind of tree push. Consbury going to take out Moon. Red Hawk's going to push for the... Push for this bike. NRG going to get elimination. Major going to get elimination. Cody going to get elimination. So now it's two on two on four. It's down to Eric. And Sam going to take out Red King. So six to one, CVCC falling down now. Here in game number, match number two. We got OG in the chat. Second part of the Breakfast Club. Let's see if the third shows up. Yeah, they've had a tough go around. Crass having a two and six game right now, having struggling as a captain. Non prodigy Hector's carried the way for CBCC so far. Sam and Majek with eleven and ten. You know, I, I didn't give Majek enough love. I know Conspire and Sam for Western Technical, but Majek is uh, carrying his carrying more than his weight this match. So not Hector out with that nice arrow. We'll go to Crass. He's kind of watching. Sides. Red Hawks trying some different strategy here to see something get something working. You want to try to get as many of these 12 rounds as you can. It's all quiet. This this group isn't moving very much. Yeah. Uh, Let's show what we do today. Yeah. All right. Hey. I'm a drum. Looks like CVCC drum going to come in for CVCC. A couple of tags there. Looks like the top of that got an elimination. I'd missed it there. Spy cam going off. Hopefully no flank here. Majek in elimination. Cody with elimination. So it's four, four on three. Red Hawks holding all angles. Nice heel there from Moon on Hector. 30 seconds. Red Hawks got a 
Nice. Cody going to get another elimination four on two. Doesn't mean anything, though. Ghost Whisperer takes out two. Like I said, it's all even. And now it's down to Crast and Moon. 15 seconds left. Yeah, they've got a plant or they've got an elimination. And Consfree going to get the clutch there for Western Technical. Close. So down 7 1 here. <laughs> So round number nine, CVCC down 7-1 here. Confidence shaking just a little bit here on the ascent map. As Red Hawks have struggled on the attack. We'll see what happens here in round at number nine. Drone's going to go out here for Consbury there on the flank side. They see Sam going to take out Moon. Crass going to take out. Crass going to get really good position. Ghost Whisperer with an elimination. Rango with an elimination. And now it's three on one. It's Crass versus the world. Is he going to rotate? He's, he's going to rotate by himself. This might be an unbelievable play if he pulls this off. This might be the play. Locks it up, puts it down the spike. Uh -oh. All the moves for uh -oh. for fast. As he is working this Astra, puts down the smokes. What a rotate by Crass if this works out. That was crazy. Ooh. Good try. Good. He's still going to get. I think he's not going to get the plant there. Spike. He's not. Yeah. So Red Hawks get the round. Oh, hey. oh, that was As so you hear a yell from Crass, let's go. What a rotate there from our team captain. Had to make quick decisions on the fly and it paid off. No doubt about that. He put up that wall there in. Uh, the B side, B side, and locked that one player in, and just said, "You know what? I'm going. I'm taking it like a football player with the, or like a running back with the football. Just carried it to the end zone. And said, I'm taking it all the way, and he did. So Red Hawks down seven two here, trying to get back in it. These round wins help because you're able to get more money, you're able to get more abilities." Recon bolt destroyed there as it would, and I'm sure that was the snipe from Consbury. That Reina for Western Technical. All quiet on the Western front. And the Western back, I guess, too. Yep. Don't forget about the Western sides. Yeah, and the Western middle, all sorts of Western. So, thanks everybody for hopping in chat. We'll see if somebody gets a little uh, antsy to wanna initiate some action somebody is that's going to be crashed with that awesome camo look at that, that weapon camo on there it's fancy as he is itching to move as sam is hiding sam got three eliminations Revive coming up. Consbury back there. Moon going to get the kill on Consbury. It's a three on three. Brimstone puts down the ability. Wall is going to go up. CVCC in good shape. Majic going to get elimination though. Ranga Cody with two eliminations. Three! 
Congratulations! Give it I love you! <laughs> Sweet here, yeah. Ranga, I love you. Wow. <laughs> Can you tell this is an emotional game? It really is. I'm pretty sure our captain may need therapy after this season. It has been uh It's eight. okay, it's covered through <laughs> as a student. I was about to say here at CBCC we have free counseling. He may need some uh from all that's went through this season. It's been a wave of emotions. Brand new team, but he's done a great job of spearheading it. Also, no joke about mental health. If you need a counselor or somebody, be sure you get one. Um, it's very important this time, especially this time of our, our lives that's happening. So uh, four on three now, early pick there for Conspree. Redox playing slow again. You got to almost. So we'll take you to Reyna. That is Eric the Red King. Watch out for Three to seven. We're getting close to the next round. Will be Red Hawks will be swapping it up. Crass can eliminate Conspray. That's a big elimination. He'll trade that any day. Crass going to run away. Going to Peter Cottontail hop. Red Hawks may be rotating here with forty seconds. It's going to be. They're going to have to really, 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 really rotate. It's here they come. CVCC as a unit putting those spikes down there's a nice smoke there from crast checking that corner again there's this crast can get elimination ghost whisper goes down 13 seconds they're gonna have to plant yo right corner right corner right corner right corner nice no. spike's gonna go down oh one on two it is hector versus the world and it's not going to work. Uh, nice play there for CVCC to rotate around as Western Tech is going to take. Western Tech going to take an 8-3 lead here as we get ready for the swap. I got to spend all their money this time. Because it's all going to vanish. Absolutely. So Madison took the win. I think. We'll see kind of how that shakes out. It's round number 12 here. As it looks like, yeah, Madison defeats Bismarck. 13 to 5 in that game. Red Hawks going to try to get some momentum here. It's not over. It's 8-3. It's Ghost Whisper with an elimination, draws first blood. Cody with elimination. Cody with two up, three eliminations. Eric with elimination. As it's down to, it's a three on two, although Cody with, is wounded. Nice. Moon going to get the elimination on Energy Storm, and now it's a three-on-one. Plant goes down. CVCC needs this. This will be huge. Go, go in eight to four on the defense. Wall is raised, goes up. And then players detain on the Killjoy. Yeah, so that Killjoy for it. Nice. Uh, Eric going to get the elimination, so eight four. Nice elimination for Eric. We'll take you through. Switch sides, Red Hawks now on the defense. They've been a very solid defensive team. We'll see what can happen. So 12, 12 and 11 for Cody. He's carrying the load this, this game. Crass has moved up to second. Moon with a nice couple eliminations. Eric struggled a little bit after that first opening game. It's kind of hard to come off of that. But CBCC now on the defense. We'll kind of see what they do, how they play this. On ascent. Yeah. See if they can win the defense side. Of course, they've got to win nine rounds, but still, uh, they're in it. Five. You know, it's nothing's overcomable because uh, Western Tech still has to win five. It's going to be an all-out war. 
Smoke's going down there. Elimination for Eric right off the bat. So first blood goes to CVCC. Cody gonna get elimination with that shoddy. Two of them with that shoddy. Push it. Push it. Three, three. Con's free gonna take down two. And CVCC gonna take the yeah. first round on the defense. That way, guys. So. So good trade outs there. Mm -hmm. Katam Valley played that very well as the Western Tech team went to that, that A side and CBCC was waiting for it. You see the eliminations there. Cody with 14 now. I still got that shoddy. He loves that shoddy. Uh, Crass and Non Prodigy and Red King rolling with the Spectres. And it looks like Moon's got a shoddy. Has, I guess he saw Cody with all that action, wanted some himself. So, so here we go. Round number 14. 8 5. Catawba Valley trailing here. Con's free, going to get elimination. So, first blood. Crass going to get elimination. So, it's back to even. Spikes down. Nice. Non Proj is going to eliminate May Jack. It's a four on three. Uh, 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 Sam going to take out Red uh, King. Ready help, ready help. Whoa! She has a and Conspree with four eliminations that round for Western Tech. Holy cow. His Red Hawks did not read that very well on the B side. A side went very well. B side did not. Red Hawks still in good spirits. So you some positivity. Um, let's see. Make sure you have fourth game extra. They rush that immediately. Yeah. So B side, A side, B side. Looks like two rushes on both sides for this team. We'll kind of show you back and forth. Looks like they may be going A side. Nice, nice. Cody, oh, my, my goodness. Scorpy. Holy cow. And Cody with a four piece side of fries. Give him a cookie. Put a cherry on top. Oh, my goodness. I don't think they want to push me anymore. Oh, wow. That was wow. And we'll look at Cody up top 18 and 12. 18 eliminations so far. My goodness. Uh, Cody having himself a game. Mm -hmm. Said, Eric, I saw your first game. I'm going to best you second game. Damn, Robert, you're insane, my guy. Just hear, hear the players in the background. Ranga, you are insane, my guy. He is. He's playing very well. Yeah, hold, hold that question. Nice. Nice, Two eliminations for CVCC. Looks like they're playing that mid-type game, possibly. I'd say the other three are probably Cody with elimination. Cody with another elimination, says shoddy, shoddy. And that's another one right straight in the face. Nice. Red Hawks is two away from tying it up. CVCC trying to bring it back from the brink. If they win this round, if they win this game, it will be probably the best win of their season and probably in our program's history. I mean, I take that back. Donovan Irvin on NBA 2K went down from 18 and won a couple weeks ago. This will be right there with it. The comeback of the century for CVCC. Nothing, nothing set in stone though. CVCC still got to win six, and anything can happen. They're on the save. They're probably going to play back. So don't remember it. The communication for CVCC impeccable. It's key in this game. You got to have a team that works together. Nice. Ranga going to get another elimination. And Ranga's going to fall down, but Crass getting elimination, so it's four on three. Red King with an elimination. Two of them. Oh, goes for another three, and Crass finishes it off. So eight and nine, CVCC. 
That way, thank you, Menace. Yeah. Uh, hope you guys can make the playoffs. Absolutely. Thank you, Menace, so much. Congratulations to y'all tonight. Uh, we were watching. I'm going to go back and watch the VOD, but congratulations, Madison. Y'all had a great uh, season. Congratulations on winning the group. Also, congratulations to Bismarck. Y'all are y'all are really great people to play with. So, thanks, Menace. I appreciate you. Uh, appreciate everything. And uh, can, again, congratulations on y'all's win tonight. So CVCC kind of come back from the brink. They need to win five. Madison needs to win four. It's about as close as it can get. Razor thin. Every single decision every single player makes from here on out is going to be key. Eric going to draw first blood. But no, that's that Phoenix, that teleport. Looks like they may be rotating back. I don't know. We'll have to see. Are they still at A or B, uh, B side? Yeah, yeah, sure, 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 sure. As Cons are going to eliminate Moon to draw first blood. Plants going down. Red Hawks kind of wrapping around. Play for reason. Play for reason. Crass going to get elimination of Conspray. Couple eliminations for CVCC again, so it's four on three. Ally Killjoy going down. It's three on three, two on three, two on one. Yeah. And it's the Hawks have worked it back and it's time. Good call, Good call. Wow. I've got chill bumps. Apologies if I am a little loud, but this is exciting. Nine to nine. It is down to who can win four first. Is it going to be CBCC? Is it going to be Western Technical? We don't know. But the Red Hawks have worked their way from down eight to four, and now they're in a position to win this game. Unbelievable. And we'll take a look at the scoreboard real quick. Cody, the big part of that. Ranga. 23. 23 and 13. I believe has bested what Eric was. No, Eric had 25. Eric had 25, so he's in Two a position more, to better yeah. this. Two more, and the way this one's going. It's a great possibility. Very great possibility. The first pick is always the key. Watching the mid picks. I'm going to go watch market. As you see all the Red Hawks watching. Eric going to get that first blood. That is super key mm -hmm. in a situation like this. I'm going to smoke it. I'm going to wall this off completely. Ah, Are they pushing the B side? I don't know what's don't happening right now. Don't 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 that wall is down. I think they're, mid. They're, they're back to mid, I think, again. You hear Cody. No. Cody going to knock out the spike carrier. Oh, Two, shoot. three, four. Oh, my God. Oh. Cody with the shotty. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Woo. Hey, wow. He might pull off the 30. He might get a 30 bomb. I don't think we've had one all season long in any of the dominant performances we've had. CVCC is leading for the first time after down 8-2-4. Yeah, that shotgun. Oh, buddy. Wow. That's crazy. My goodness. Line them up like dominoes and knocking them off. Bang, bang, bang. We're just going to stick with Cody. He's earned it. Yeah. So 10 okay. 9. I cannot believe CVCC has won six of the last seven rounds. Yeah, pop it here. You can. I'm ready to walk Nice. Oh, non prodigy coming out with that. Another elimination for Ranga. Cody, it's three on three. It's non prodigy with a shock dart at a century. It's three on two. One's below Cypher is. Moon's going to get NRG and it's down to one. And it gets it. And the defeat. 
Cruz, Catawba Valley up 11 to 9 now. As he's going to let Moon get the defuse. Great job, team captain, letting the anchor of our team get those two like a yin to the yang. Great teamwork. 11 9 CVCC. As Cody closing in on that 30 bomb, Hector with what a a shock bolt got an elimination that round. Crast, Crast with 15, 14, 13. If he was playing basketball, he'd have a triple double. I guess we can call that a triple double. Wow. This game is is going phenomenal. Like it's just this is quality entertainment. This this is this is a team on a mission. Yeah. So we'll go. We'll go back to Cody, trying to shoot on that B side. Eric with the pick. Those early picks have been key. Non prodigy with elimination. Sam gonna pick off elimination. Cody says, "Say hello to my little fan." He gets his thirty bomb. He gets it side of fries. I don't know what else to give him. Give him a large drink. Give him a large fry. Supersize him. Supersize performance from Cody. 31 and 14. Holy crap. Oh, man. I got no words. Coach is speechless. Red Hawks are one round away from winning. And I never would have imagined this. Nine of the last... Ten rounds have been won by Red Hawks. Yo, Eric trying to get that pick. Sam gonna draw first blood for. Red King with an elimination. Four on four now. Another elimination. Crash falls down. Red King falls down. It's Ranga. It's 2v2. Elimination there again for Ranga. And can he finish it off? My goodness. Oh, buddy. As you see it, I don't even need to post it. 34 and 14 with six assists. I'll go with the hard carry, man. With oh, the hard God. carry. Catawba Valley wins. Holy crap. Oh, Nine of God. the last 10 rounds won by CVCC. They were down eight to four, dead to rights. And Catawba Valley comes back, finishes the regular season six and three. I don't know how the tiebreakers are going to work out, but that looks like a playoff team to me. I am biased because I'm the coach, but holy crap. And you can see Hugs Gomez coming all the way around. My goodness. We're going to try to get Ranga in here. In for an interview. We've got to. Okay. I wasn't going to tell you this until Cody, after. are you on the thing? We could make the playoffs. Not mad we could make it. Cody, I want to do a, an interview with you if I can. Please. <laughs> I didn't want to tell you this because in case that you threw the game, uh, not even going to throw the playoffs. We're going to try to get Cody on here. The thing is, we're not sure. We won't know until tomorrow or Saturday. He's not a big talker, but. That's why. That's why I was like. Cody, 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 are you in there? Please. We're gonna try to get him to talk. He's a very shy one. Oh my goodness! What plays? Cody, 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 are you in here? We, He's not going to be on me tonight. <laughs> Come on, Cody. You got to interview after that. 
<laughs> he, he may be speechless. I don't know. We'll see. So, unbelievable. It, anybody want to come talk, interview? Yeah, we got a free chair. We have a free chair. I've extended the invite to Ranga, but I think he doesn't have any speech left. <laughs> So we're, so we're gonna we're gonna sit down here with we'll do go back to the just chatting. We're with our captain Jesus. So Jesus, oh my goodness, holy crap! So obviously y'all dominated the first round. You're down eight to four heading into the defense. Did you feel? Did y'all feel like honestly you had a chance? Like how, what was the feeling like? What was the like? I mean, what were you kind of talking about? Like, what, what? you're down eight, four, you're down four rounds. It's this mentality thing that I've always kept since the bottom of this flipping ranking system and everything and everything that I'm trying to teach the team, good mentality. That good mentality of us focusing up, having us make sure that we're like doing the things that we need to do, making sure that we're doing your job right, having Addison put up these walls and making sure that he's playing bomb, making sure that we know certain information from certain call outs and everything. And us clutching up certain rounds where we think that we're going to lose really helped us with our mentality and everything. I think not only me, but the rest of the team has really put in so much effort into this last game with not only just kills, but with the way we use our utility and the way we work with our teams together. Did you, did any of y'all, I mean, anybody can chime in. Did any of y'all think that y'all were going to come back and win that? Yeah, I mean, it's. I not, genuinely thought we were going to come back. I just needed to focus up and needed to stay calm. Yeah, I'm not going to lie to you. Having that much caffeine in my body that I'm not used to was literally having me like shake up, especially in that first map. Until until like round five is where it cooled off. Yeah. I will tell you, we we were kind of shadow watching Madison. Madison defeated Bismarck tonight two nothing. Um, they are in our stream watching us <laughs> saying, calling uh, Ranga a demon. Yo, Ranga, uh, Ranga is definitely okay. a demon. For him being silver, I don't think he's silver. He's like dog. high gold flat, man. <laughs> yeah, he. Uh, I try to get him on here. Of course, Ranga is our quiet. Ranga actually is our only team player who plays remotely, but he has been here as one of the, the almost day ones. Um, and is graduating this semester, so it's his last. I was hoping to get him on for an interview. He's muted, um, but he he doesn't he doesn't say a lot. But I think his his actions spoke louder than words. Yes, definitely. So. Like literally, he literally helped us a lot with his util usage right there on defending because we were kind of. And I think I kind of enabled him with uh, making sure that making sure that we had those reads on them. That's why I had Addison and Cody switch positions in case of. One, they don't want to run into that util on B, and now, them. and now facing that same amount of utility on A, I feel really, really helped with our my game sense and enabling him. So that was really, really good. Um, other than that, the energy was so electrifying from yes, everyone. Man. Absolutely, <laughs> I, I, I tell you, I, oh, I got I got chill bumps the whole time, like watching y'all. That was unbelievable. Uh, I will say, Menace in chat from the winning team of our group, and who they actually—I mean, I, I will say this honestly—they they put in work against us, and they they earned every bit of this. Um, but yeah, that's he said that's how you end end a season. But Red Hawks have a chance to make playoffs. He said, "Hope you guys make the playoffs." You've got a chance. I don't know how the tiebreakers are going to work out. It's going to be kind of crazy. We talked about it this week, but. After a performance like that, if you make the playoffs, what does that do for you, you think, going forward? I think it gives me a good chance at proving to the school how mistreated we were in the beginning. Just to show them immediately up to your face, like, hey, although these kids, quote unquote, violated your rules and you mistreated us, we show you what's up. We show you that we're we're a program that we're not supposed to be messed with, especially with talented players and hardworking players like this. I think after that incident with us being kicked out of school for not wearing a mask, I think it really like put a fire under our <laughs> butt. It was so stupid. It really <laughs> was under our butt and just made us work like that. I mean, it really was a turning point, I think, for the season. And Shout out to that security guard. <laughs> Shout out to that security guard. Yeah, no, no, kids. 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 Like, thank you for making us better. I was going to say, y'all bonded together after a lot of like adversity and what, and even from the start of the season. 
didn't have really a full roster. And what's crazy is the guy who gets 34 and 14 our last game of the regular season is the person we added on late. Last minute. <laughs> and last minute, needing somebody saying, hey, we need a body. Can you play? Yeah, sure. And then just goes nuclear Dude. when we need him to go nuclear. I don't think I've seen that many shotgun kills in any kind of movie. Probably not even He's John Wick. He's insane with that kind <laughs> joy, man. Like, I'm telling you, like, his UTL usage is insane. And him with that judge, you can't stop him with that judge. That's like his favorite weapon. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Well, Red Hawks are going to end the regular season at 6-3. and three. A lot has to go right. We've kind of looked at, like, all the various, um, you know, hey, how's this going to go? Does, you know, who gets what wins? And um, actually, it looks like our, our win has already been submitted. So we're at 6-3. I was just thinking about that, putting that in Generation Esports. Yeah. Yeah, so it's already, it's already in. Everything's good to go. So Red Hawks finish it. It says five and three, but we're actually six and three. We'll, be, we'll finish fourth in our group, but the top three teams that we lost to are there. We're going to kind of look at some of the other groups. Looks like some more six and threes. Those last two weeks were very demolishing, emotionally and mentally, where we were very frustrated after all the hard work we put in and, like, being shut down like that. I think we really put a fire under my butt and, like, making sure that I'm having a stronger mentality than I once had. But I'm looking up to y'all as like, I, I think we have a chance. I think we have a chance against y'all. Well, we're hoping, you know, obviously a lot has to go right, but we're hoping that uh, Catawba Valley Community College is in the playoffs, even if we're that 16. Uh, he, he says y'all's vibes are unrivaled. That's kind of cool. Like, um, it's literally just good sportsmanship and getting to know the other team before we play. We just have a small talk and then we just get to know, like, have, cut up with each other. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna diss somebody, but I'm gonna make sure that if I'm gonna compete with you, I'm gonna compete with my fullest intent and fullest heart. I'm gonna make sure that I'm at that hundred percent. Shout out to Donovan too. He's he's heading out from stream. Donovan got some video for us tonight of this crazy I got that, crazy, I got that crazy clip that you did. Andrew, the shot guard. Oh, there's a chair. Oh, for real? Yeah, <laughs> Donovan's going to work. He's got he's got NBA 2K tomorrow. Yeah, so we'll we'll, we'll kind of uh, see some of the video. Uh, thank you, Amenis and Sea Dog. We appreciate y'all um, for being so supportive as as opponents. Um, we wish y'all the best of luck. If if we can't win a national championship, boy, we hope y'all bring it home. We would be proud to have that, like our group um, I mean, represented. Like, if so. we can't make it to playoffs, if we don't make it, if I, if I lose to Madison and everyone else loses Madison, I'm not going to be upset. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna be, sure, I'm gonna be pretty I'm proud that I got a couple rounds off of you. I mean, no, it's, no. it's an honor playing with them. Like literally, they. Um, they were really, they weren't like talks or anything. They were like really friendly. They gave us tips at the end, like how to help us and feel very game. humble. And that's what I want to yeah. look up towards every and single time that I play. Literally, um, I'm not going to, I didn't get time to change my sensitivity, but I'm going to change it during the off season and see how it will help and improve. Oh, I've changed it during the season. I now. couldn't. Like, uh, I'm so used to changing like that. I, I, I have um, And in, in an esports world that's filled, sometimes filled with a lot of toxicity, and you know, I always see. Like college esports <laughs> in the drama scene, it's really cool to like see that that opponents are like respecting each other and like, man, you're really good, you're really good. Like I even watched the game film trying to prepare for them, and I I knew it was going to be uphill climb, but it's really it's really cool to see like teams show respect to one another and just that camaraderie. So, but yeah, best of luck to y'all. Y'all are for sure in the playoffs. We're holding out hope. We think we might be the 15th or 16th team if we've done the math right. I'm not. I'm not a hundred percent on good well, on math. We have a good chance. We have a good chance. I think we could be that one of those last teams, and then we're hoping that we make all the tie breaks, and that Generation Esports and NJCAE will let us be that last team. Uh, these guys deserve it. I, I don't care win or lose. Uh, us going into the playoffs, like if they if they're able to qualify, I am extremely proud. I just want y'all to know. I say that from my heart. Y'all have been the biggest blessing to coach. I mean, obviously, it's it's great to succeed. But I've said it from day one, you only succeed when you work together and every single one of y'all has. Even even Cody, we give him kind of heck because he doesn't, you know, he's he's kind of a remote player. But he's, Don't give me comms, but I still love you. I mean, he, he does think <laughs> for us. <laughs> no doubt. Anybody else got any words? We got Eric in here. He went ham first game. This man was popping. I'm he like, popped off first game. I'm not going to lie. 
I'm gonna be toxic. No. no. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna we're, we're gonna skip gonna, over this. We're gonna skip over the Eric oh, and you. Oh. Moon, you wanna say anything? It is a I was there. Lunar eclipse, <laughs> and his name is Moon Solstice. That is true. So you wanna hop in and say something as a team captain? Um Sure. And one of our first signees. Wait, I'm, I'm too tall for this. Oh, he's, Sorry, coming, he's coming down a little bit. Uh, um, yeah, I'll ask you the same question. Y'all down eight to four. What, did you think you were going to come back? Did you think, did you really truly believe, like, man, we're either, we're either going to just kind of hand this over and we'll go to the third? Or, I mean, uh, I know normally we struggle with attack, we struggle with coordination, peaking together, and stuff like that. So that's why we normally attack first to try to get as many rounds in to see how well we need to perform on defense. I knew it was going to be a close game. I didn't think it was going to be Ranko murdering literally everyone on their team. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was going to be more like we use the Sentinels, take advantage of the Sentinels to get information, me and Ranga, and then do retakes. Mm -hmm. But they were not able to take the point. In. Like half the round, half of those rounds. We were it was, mid -peak yeah, mid -peak. yeah, they were punishing mid peaks. It was we yeah, were, twice, right? our defense yeah, has we, always we been very days. solid. Like we got three kills off of when we're yeah, running we're two sentinels right there, um, instead of two duelists. Right, you take, mm -hmm. like, it was one, so I, I knew we would pull back on some of those uh, rounds, and I, I yeah, honestly yeah, did believe that we were going to bring that out, and we absolutely did. Well, and two, I noticed Eric. Eric got a lot of first picks too. Yes, that helped y'all out that's, so that's much. A, a you get that advantage, yeah. that snipe, and that advantage. Yeah. So, you, um, you finish the season six and three. I mean, I don't know if we're gonna make playoffs or not, but to win two thirds of your games this season yeah. as a first year team, and I know you've kind of been craving just being a part of like that team atmosphere and that team concept. Yeah, what has it been like for you to be a part of this team? After our first, my first semester on the team, this is totally different. This is, this is exactly what I was looking for. This, this positive community, just playing together, hanging out together, just trying to enjoy each other's company and um, keeping that positive atmosphere that I worked for, that I really loved about um, doing athletics in high school. Um, and so bringing that here, and I, we tried in um, my first year with the esports. It was a little rough. We were still new. We didn't have much to go off of. But I think we have an amazing group right now. And I'm looking forward to what we can accomplish with this group. And we all are really motivated. Everyone here really enjoys each other. Oh, yeah. And I think that's the most important part of a team most important part of a team is really trusting and caring about your teammates, having that and keeping um, any conflict between you guys to minimal, helps with coordination, helps with call outs, and it helps with um, working together in those matches in those high tension situations. Definitely. Well, I, and I've, I've seen it. I've, I've known kind of y'all were going to be a special group just from the chemistry and the bonding. And then obviously I've even went out and kind of ate with y'all and spent time yeah. with y'all. And I think, I think a lot of that has helped y'all in a way, even, even just spending time outside yes. of the game. You know, we do D and D every Dungeons and Dragons every Friday is kind of our thing. So I, uh, no, I really think that, um, being a team is not just about playing together and practicing together, it's about really bonding and spending time together. Because building those relationships is what makes um, a team like this really valuable. And we will never forget these connections that we've had and that we've established. And I think they've really helped us all. Absolutely. Well, and then on top of that, uh, I just want to say they're killing it in the classroom. Uh, doing a, a tremendous job. That's that's what we're supposed to be doing. Yes. Um, that's why they're here. They're student athletes. Again, uh, Elite Sea Dog uh, says thanks for all the kind words. It was a pleasure meeting y'all. Yeah, absolutely, Sea Dog. You and Menace are uh, you, Menace, and the whole Madison crew are a uh, uh, a wrecking crew. No kidding. <laughs> absolutely. Um, <laughs> we we hope that if we make playoffs, that if we do meet y'all, it would be in some kind of championship situation because that was. Uh, that y'all are wild, y'all are crazy. Uh, I don't even know how to game plan against y'all, but we'll we'll figure it out. But um, yeah, hopefully we make it. And uh, but yeah, y'all been a special group, and I knew it from day one, and it's been an awesome ride. Hopefully it continues 
But if it doesn't, six and three. Absolutely. I mean, we will be bringing heat next semester in Valorant, and you guys better be ready. Oh yeah, definitely. Well, we'll see. We will not stop getting better. Yeah, absolutely. Well, that's 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 the mentality you got to have if you want to be if you want to be any kind of competitor. You got to want to get better, even if you're. Um, that's the one thing me as a coach, and that's not just with y'all, but with everybody on our team. We have thirteen members. I've said improvement. Improvement. Even if you're terrible at a game, work hard to improve, make those adjustments. And our entire team, I can honestly say, for the most part, has done that. Um, and that's that's why we've been so successful. But awesome. Well, appreciate it, Moon. He's going to go check out the uh, lunar eclipse that's getting ready to happen yes. once every, I think this one's the first one, or the once. It's like once every 400 years or something. My wife said, he doesn't think so. I don't know. <laughs> I saw it on TikTok. Don't believe TikTok. Yet, so. But, um, we're going to wrap up the stream. Anybody got any last words? Anything they want to say? Other than the last minute squall, we, uh, our team, we've hatched and we've learned how to fly. And now we're going to spread our wings. <laughs> oh, and, I, and, and he walks, he walks off. off. Like, wow. So that's going to do it here for the stream. We, again, before we get off here, we want to uh, shout out to our sponsors, Red Fox Gaming and Hickory and Catawba Valley Boulevard. Make sure you go visit them. They have new and old video games they've got everything for the holiday season so if you've got family members that are wanting any of that kind of stuff or any pop culture needs they've got that uh be sure to go visit them they've got imported foods they've got all sorts of cool stuff you see the team behind me here as they're <laughs> kind of doing i don't know what's happening but they're getting ready for the end of it but i have to thank our, thank our sponsors so red fox gaming hickory go visit mic. them tell them cvcc esports sent you and that you're so thankful they're supporting student athletes here in the Catal valley area and also shout out to corporate armor and temprano tech investors company they had their largest third quarter in company history they're successful they're helping us be successful um, you saw it tonight. It's awesome. So y'all have a little bit more space? Uh, your dad says, I'm amazed you got him in front of the camera. Well, we did. We did move <laughs> father. So, but we're going to sign out here from the CBCC Sports Arena. Join us tomorrow at NBA 2K. We're going to have a qualifier for sure in the postseason. Uh, all Devontae's got to do is win tomorrow, and I'm pretty sure he's in. I think he's in already, but we'll see. But signing out here from the uh, CBCC uh, Arena. We appreciate everybody for joining us. As we always do it, we end it with a, a tonight, and a, a better be a big one. Y'all have a good night. We'll see y'all tomorrow for NBA 2K action.